So I got really excited earlier today when one of my assistants pointed me at something called adfreeoutlook.com. For various reasons, uh, it looked really lucrative, and in fact, I went ahead and signed up. Um, I want to quickly show you what it's about and why ultimately I'm still a little disappointed, but there's hope, I guess. I've got a question outstanding to Microsoft to uh, see if we can't clear something up, but let's have a look at the sales page for it. So the page talks about <clears throat> adfreeoutlook.com, what you get uh, for basically $20 a year. Uh, the thing, the most obvious thing from its name, of course, is that you get no ads. The ad panel that's normally to the right of the screen as you're looking at email in your account is just gone. It's actually kind of cool. Uh, the other thing, one of the other things you get is what they call no account expiration. So that means that as long as you keep paying your $20 a year, even if you don't log into the account, the account won't be deleted. Um, there's also some talk about some additional space I've seen in a couple of different places, but Outlook.com is already very bad about showing you exactly how much space you're using. <clears throat> so it's one of those things where that one doesn't really excite me that much anyway. And to be honest, you know, logging into your account, if you're paying to keep it up, um, you should be logging into it periodically anyway. Uh, every three months, every couple of months, whatever it is, you really ought to be logging into the account. But that's none of what really got me excited. And to be fair, for many people, that $20 a month to get rid of the ads in their Outlook.com experience, that might make it worth it right there. The thing that got me excited, though, was this little thing down at the bottom that talks about technical support. If you have a problem with your account, we'll be there to help with technical support at no additional charge. Fantastic, I thought. This is one of those scenarios where Outlook.com's technical support, like all free email accounts, is slim to non-existent, depending on exactly which route you're going on. And there are definitely continued um, instances of people getting, say, locked out of their account, especially when traveling. And this seemed like great, an opportunity to have maybe something more direct. <clears throat> so I went ahead and signed up. My, uh, my actual uh, Hotmail account, the one that I've had, gosh, probably for close to 20 years now, is now an ad-free Outlook.com account. Now, like I said, it's kind of cool. There's no ads. But I went looking for the technical support. And here's the problem. The instructions that appear after I signed up for adfreeoutlook.com said for technical support, go to support.live.com and then look for uh, essentially the Hotmail Plus link. So there are two problems with those instructions. One is support.live.com doesn't really exist anymore. It does redirect to a support option for Microsoft, but it's not live.com anymore. And the other, of course, is that adfreeoutlook.com used to be called Hotmail Plus, but it hasn't been for quite some time. The real problem is that on the resulting page, support.live.com, there is no place to click on that says anything about Hotmail Plus or Outlook.com ad free or anything else that would indicate that there is an option that I should now have access to by virtue of having paid my $20. So I give this to you for a couple of different reasons. <clears throat> One is if you're really interested in not having advertisements in your Outlook.com experience, if it's worth $20 a year to you, great. That's a great way to get rid of it, uh, free up some screen real estate and not have to deal with the advertisements. Personally, ads don't bother me that much. I'm kind of used to them. I'm kind of ad blind in many ways. But like I said, a lot of people feel strongly about it. And if they feel strongly enough, maybe it's worth $20. Uh, like I said earlier, the uh, no account expiration you know, that's neither here nor there. Like I said, I don't think it's something you really should be relying on. I honestly believe that the right thing to do is to log into the account every so often and keep it active that way. But this is another benefit. 
If you're looking for technical support, if you're looking for some kind of leg up on technical support, I got to say that this is really misleading right now. And from what I can tell, this option really doesn't exist. What I've done is I have submitted a request in the Microsoft support forums. It's the community forum where occasionally um, Outlook or Microsoft representatives will respond to things with the hopes that there'll be a response, that somebody will tell me what's up with this. Maybe I'm looking in the wrong place. Maybe I'm overlooking something. It could happen. So maybe I'll get a response to that. If I do, I will absolutely update you in the notes below this article on askleo.com. But one of the other reasons I wanted to, to give you this example or show you about this, besides you know warning you off if you're really looking for technical support, so far it looks like your $20 isn't going to get it. This is an example of what I'll call, I don't know, evolution of a software service. The problem here, I think, is that Hotmail, Microsoft's email system, is very old. It's been around, well, probably for over 20 years now. And of course, Microsoft has been changing and improving the uh, the service over the years. They've also renamed it a few times. It was Hotmail, then it was MSN Hotmail, then it was Windows Live Hotmail, and now, of course, it's Outlook.com. Unfortunately, along the way, they haven't really cleaned up all the remnants and they haven't really updated everything that really should be updated. Uh, as you can see, the fact that they're talking about support may or may not still be part of what you're getting for your $20. Hopefully, we'll find out. Regardless, I mean, if it is part of what we should be getting, then they shouldn't be directing you to support.live.com, and they certainly shouldn't be calling it Hotmail Plus anymore. That product is long gone. This happens. This kind of stuff happens all the time, and it actually requires a certain amount of flexibility on our part as consumers to understand that something as old and as changing over time as Hotmail has been, it's going to have these kind of warts. And warts they are. There are definitely problems that need to be corrected, but they haven't been corrected yet. Who knows when or if they will be. It's something to be aware of, something to, if you can, keep an open mind about as you, you know, navigate various online services, including those that have been around for a while. Like I said, I will update you uh, to any response I get on the forum post. Um, in fact, here's a link to the forum post, so I think you should be able to see it yourself to see uh, if I get a response directly. Um, otherwise, what I'm really interested in from you is, is it worth $20? Is it worth $20 to get rid of the ads? But more importantly, Let's assume for a minute that the technical support option really does exist, that I'm supposed to be getting some kind of increased level of technical support for the $20 a year that I'm paying. Is it worth it to you? Is it something that you would potentially pay the money for in order to get that higher level of support? I know that it's going to be an option for some. Especially if you're backed into a corner and you've got a problem, you may consider you know, paying $20 to be nothing to if it'll get you a faster or more reliable answer to your question. But I'm really interested in how many people would be willing to go down that path. So let me know. As always, uh, here's the link to this article on askleo.com. That's where you'll find not only this video, but the transcript to this video updates, as I promised. And of course, your comments uh, that I read, all of them uh, moderated, of course, so we don't have to deal with um, you know the, the usual riffraff out on YouTube. And uh, hopefully, we'll get an answer and we'll find out. But like I said, I'm really curious as to how valuable you find or you might find something like this. So until next time, I'm Leo Notenboom for AskLeo.com. As always, remember, stay safe, have fun, and don't forget to back up. Take care.